The Mark Dacey Show, brought to you on Broadband Box Office Network, coming to you directly from the East Coast at VK Media Studios. We stream live every second Monday of the month, and we're archived on iTunes. So, like us on Facebook. Now, enjoy the show. Just, uh... Doing some reading here. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money. Just reading the, uh, reading the old uh, Wall Street Journal. Very fair-minded publication, I, if I might say so myself. Just reading about the money, saying myself. Good evening. Welcome to the Mark Daisy Show. I'm Mark Daisy. This is my podcast, and we're just casting pods right here before your very eyes. Thanks for uh, coming by. Uh, well, I'm just looking for uh, some stock tips, you know, just looking for some preciosious metals, you know, because I'm just, now is the time to buy. Why? Why, you ask? Why? Do you ask why? Why do you ask about the metals? Everybody needs metals. Nowadays, yes, absolutely, now is the time to buy. Well, I'm glad you asked why. <laughs> Did I welcome you to the show already? All right, you're welcome. There, there, Okay. Because pretty soon, they're going to be deregulating the banks. Oh, yeah, man. They're going to be letting the money flow once again. The high interest rates galore. Hey, it's the big 80s. So, I want in at the bottom floor. Finally, finally, somebody in Washington who can, I can trust. <laughs> Watching out for the little guy. Finally, I've been waiting so long. So, I'm spending all my retirement dough on stuff that I, I've always wanted, you know. And because the up coming tax breaks on the big corporations I, the, uh, when that happens i you know it's just a matter of time before all that money starts trickling down to me and you so i'm waiting uh, but not for too long because i figured i'd treat myself early buy myself some precious cement me- i is ty is made of pure gold oh yeah absolutely <laughs> weaved of pure gold and, that's, and uh, gold rings uh, Make an impression on the ladies. Oh, yeah. They like the gold. They like the silver. Precious metals. I'm buying some American steel stocks. Going to get right on there on the bottom floor. And coal mine stocks. I hear they're going to be going up. I'm looking forward to that. Yes. And American concrete stocks. Got to gotta have that because we're going to need a lot of concrete for that wall. You know? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm right? Am I right? Yes. We're going to need some... And once we get rid of those foreign laborers, well, there are going to be lots of job opportunities along the border, making sure them Mexican laborers return to the camps. So I'm just, it's getting ready. <laughs> just because you never know. Brand new. Yeah. It's going to be lots of jobs along the border. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm going to be ready. Now, you may say I'm a dreamer. Lolly dee dee dee. Well, I'm not the only one. La 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 la. I hope someday you'll join us. La 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 la. When the Electoral College will be all Republican. <laughs> oh, wait. That happened already. Hey, trademark right there. Okay. But anyway. Big surprise, huh? I mean, the election. Whoa! What? Yeah, man. Like, it's crazy. Ah, not so much. Yeah, really, when you think about it. I mean, we were all looking for simplicity, you know, and it's a very complicated world, and who best to describe that simple world? But, well, not Hillary with all that googly gook about new energy, climate change, women's rights, you know, bringing in the immigrants, re-educating the miners and the steel workers, and getting along with foreign nations, policy, policy, policy. <laughs> it's just, that's not simple. That's not simple enough, so 
All I heard was crooked, crooked money, 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 file, um, emails, foreign foreign money, money, crooked, crooked secrets, Benghazi, <laughs> etc. La, 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 LOL. Give me simplicity. Make America simply great. Mwah. Trump. <laughs> yeah, man. That's a, she needed. She needed a simple slogan. That's really. That's all that it. I mean, it really came down to. Look, make America great. It's simple. It's perfect. It's perfect. She needed a simple slogan, and I'm thinking, hmm. Bring back Bill. No, uh, Clinton. <laughs> yeah, that would it put it. It would have put her over the top. I I think I think it would have put her over the top. I mean, Bill would have been in charge, right? Uh, I mean, obviously, because I mean. You know, she's just a girl, so I mean, she's gonna run the White House. I'm just saying, but that's what it would have put it if she did bring back Bill. Everybody would have, bing, yeah, man. Uh, but so anyway, it's all sexism and, and uh, racism and ageism too, which brings me to the point of uh, the first point that I want to make uh, in my uh, pointless monologue tonight, which is ageism, because I'm like 147 now, and so like. You know, things are dropping off and falling down and falling out and things like that. And people are, like, holding doors for me, calling me sir. The Boy Scouts are walking me across the street. You know, things are just, they're just, um, um. I get the AARP magazine. I don't know how that happened. It's obviously required reading for anybody over 27. Anyway, but I'm not dead yet. I'm not. No, <laughs> I'm not going down easy. However... Things are drooping down and falling off and everything. And some days, though, I feel good. I feel pretty good. Um, uh, you know, and I think I look pretty good, too, for 147. So anyway, the other day I'm walking into the pharmacy to uh, get the pills that I need to keep me going. And, um, and, and three young, lovely women are, like, walking out as, 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 I'm, as I'm walking in. And, uh, you know, I give one of them a wink and a smile. And uh, before the automatic door is closing back, I, I, I hear one of them say, uh, uh, Hey, I think that old geezer was trying to pick you up. Geezer? Geezer? <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm a geezer. Oh, man. Well, first of all, girly girl, 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 giggly, giddy, girlies. Let me tell you one thing. First of all, you're obviously not old enough to know that a wink and a smile in passing is not a pickup. It's just simple flattering. That's all it is. And, 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 if I really wanted to pick you up, I would text you. And then I would sext you. And then I would meet you in a group at quick check and pretend I wasn't interested and wait for you to giggle your girlfriend's unanimous confirmation of my acceptability. <laughs> or or not. And while I vape with my homies and listen to Bruno Mars on my phone faking some rap moves. Now that's how you pick up a girl. Anybody knows that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? <laughs> I'm holding it up. I feel like I'm I'm holding it up. Hi! Get back from that border. <laughs> get back away from that fence, you. Can I have my money now? Um, anyway, my very special guest tonight is Anthony Tamboro and his special friends. So uh, they're going to be doing songs from the new album. Oh, I have it right here. Alaska. So, it'll be groovy, it'll be fun. They're here now, and they'll be in the next segment. So, moments from now. So, in the meantime, in between time. By the way, this is the combined Thanksgiving and Christmas show, so I don't have to do two separate shows. Because <laughs> I'm running low on material. Yeah, in fact, this needs to be uh, re right now. Um, and, uh, oh... I know, I know, I know, I know. It's, I know it's just getting over a, a, a time in in America where, you know, it's a little, it's a hard time in America. Folks walking in the street, and there's and there's nutty hairdos, and there's finger pointing, and people pretending, and there's, there, there's somebody that they're not. But enough about Halloween. As far as I'm concerned, we're in the holidays, and. It's the time of the season for loving. Well, half step there. Loving. Yeah. I know about half steps. <laughs> My whole show is a half step. 
So anyway, uh, what better way to start off this time of year? Where am I? The camera two, a uh, three, uh, whatever. The camera, it's camera three. Yes, right. I don't even know. Maybe I'm up there. Could be over here. Anyway, um, what better way to start off? Uh, you know, uh, uh, a new year, uh, a new way of looking at things than with a song and a blast from the past. So, Pat, if uh, if you would enjoy. <laughs> It's Christmas time again, and of course you know that's commercial time again. <laughs> There's Colgate, Palmala, and Viva, and Bounty. There's Procter and Gamble, and Ivory and Downey. But do you recall the most strangest sales pitch of all? Bold rowboat had the strangest job of all paddling around your toilet, <laughs> ascot jacket, cap, and all. All of the viewers watched as Mr. Whipple scolded you, along with the Maytag repairman, Joe Izuzu, and Frank Purdue. Then one clogged up Christmas Eve, they all came to say, Tidy with your bowl so bright, won't you clean our pipes tonight? Then how they all just loved him, and how we shouted out with glee, A man in the tidy bowl rowboat, you'll go down in commercial history. change the scenery around your neighborhood, remember your letter carrier. Be sure the access to your mailbox is clear and safe. In open areas, watch for drips around the boxes or the pileup from a snowplow. Of course, when shoveling, don't add to the pileup yourself. Ice can be more troublesome and dangerous than snow. When packed snow becomes ice, it's particularly dangerous on steps or any walking surface, especially painted wood or concrete, like stoops and porches. When there's a warm spell and the melting snow runs or pools, remember, a quick freeze can make a cleared sidewalk slicker than ever. So when winter weather comes, no matter what time of year, remember to make a safe, clear way to your mailbox for your letter carrier. We will get your mail through, but we need a little help from you. So let me introduce to you, after all, the, all these years. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the album is called Alaska, the Anthony Tambora Band. One, two... Boots and a flannel shirt All the while I heard she went insane Drinking light beer at some cheap ass bar Thinking I was moving but didn't get too far Just a doorstep from Cannery Road Looked in the mirror so bare the same star Six months of sunlight and six months of pain Why didn't we ever make love in the rain? For too many years Yeah, I've been living in Alaska For so many years Yeah, and I don't think I can I can get away now Took me a while to let that angel go She took off in her jet plane down to Mexico Oh man, it might have been a brand new car She just sent me this purple sombrero CD play with James Brown I thought I'd cruise around my old high school town Did that there 
there, but I miss one there. I'm still the same dream, I'm still the same clown. Six months of sunlight, six months of pain. Why didn't we ever make love in the rain? I've been living in Alaska for too many years. Maybe I've been living in Alaska for so many years. Yeah, and I don't think I can. I can get away now. Maybe just a kiss where well, let's sit on the roof, watch the traffic go. Six months of sunlight, six months of pain. Why didn't we ever make love in the rain? Cause I've been living in Alaska for too many years. Baby, I've been living in Alaska for so many years. Yeah, I've been living in Alaska for too many years. Sugar, I've been living in Alaska for so many years. Six months of pain Why didn't we ever make love in the rain? Oh, run two, three, four, who knows? <laughs> yeah, you could have produced <laughs> The Anthony Tambora band. I don't know which one is Anthony Tambora. I have, I have no idea. I've never met him in my whole life, but I'm looking for something. Anthony, thank you for coming to the show. Thanks. Introduce the band, would you please? All right, we have uh, Don Kenny on bass over there, Paul Corona on drums. And VD King on guitar, and he also produced the album. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, really, that is great. It's uh, we you've been playing a long time, man. Yeah. All, all you guys have been around a long time. I it's, I know you. I've been uh, you know. Wallace's. Wallace's when we days. Met at Wallace's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we all played at Wallace's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been play, playing a long time. What's the craziest thing that ever happened to you? On on you know what? Is if everybody could tell me the craziest thing that ever. But you know what? First, I'm gonna tell you the craziest thing that happened to me. I was playing at the Ritz in New York City. We were opening up to Bonnie Raitt, the top of my, my career. And uh, uh, the photographer says, put your arm around Bonnie Raitt. I said, sure. So she puts her arm around me. I put my arm around her. At the same time, I, I elbow her right in the mouth, almost knock her out. And my career wasn't anything after that. Then. And then, um, uh, now lately, I've been playing in a lot of nursing homes, you know, because that's where my career is now, and uh, elder care facilities. But it's fun because I'm bringing back memories to old people, which is great, man. And uh, it's it's a wonderful, you know, a uh, feeling to make them uh, live and and uh, again in their memories. But so I'm doing my first show in, in the nursing home about about maybe ten years ago, and I and this woman starts coming out. She's about 85, you know. And she starts walking up to me. And uh, I'm thinking, well, I still got it, man. And she's dancing, and then she gets close to me. She pulls up her dress and pees on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the highs and the lows. I don't know if we could top that one. I don't know anybody. Yeah, I don't know, man. You must got you got something. The bars are the new nursing home, I feel. Yeah, so, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oh, Nothing yeah. crazy on stage. I don't think I have. I think VD might have a good story. Yeah, though, but I don't. Yeah. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing. Not, nothing ever happened. Meet Pretty anybody warm. famous? Yes. Yeah. I met uh, Ken Griffey. <laughs> Ken Griffey and his son. I was, it was 1976. We were in uh, Walt Disney World, and um, my dad had just won the lottery, eight thousand bucks. So he took wow. us to Disney, and. Um, I saw Ken Griffey. You remember Ken Griffey? Sure, man. Is that he read? Yeah, it was a picture, right? But then and his son was there, who is a Hall of Famer. So he was, I didn't know him at the time, but now. <laughs> so that's the most famous person I met. And you. Well, uh, well yeah. there. That's, there you go. 
Um, Okay, well, I don't know if you know this, but uh, some of the viewers, uh, uh, the regular viewers on the show, found out that you were going to be on the show. Mm -hmm. And they and they wrote in, we just got some stuff on the web. I got to print it out here. Um, I don't know, Lou Bevere, Lou Bevere, <laughs> Lou, Be Lou Bevere. Lou, Lou Bevere, is that it? Yeah, okay. He's my... so in Funky Town, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And he asks, uh, and I got to get an answer from everybody here Abe Vagoda, dead or alive? Dead. Dead. I mean, I think it's recent, but I think he's dead. Dead, yeah. dead. 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 Okay. Thanks, Lou. Okay, uh, Danny Marie. Way to cheer up the show, Lou. Has, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Thanks, Lou. <laughs> Danny uh, Marie, uh, I guess he's uh, he's from Solville, uh, North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, he writes in. <laughs> All right. Should you use duct tape to wrap it and forget it? Oh. I never go anywhere without it. Oh, <laughs> holy! Well, obviously. Gee, yeah. well, there you go. You know, that's why you're like you should be the leader of the band. Uh. You know? God. <laughs> Tell me about the album. Uh, why is it called Alaska? I, I I like it. Oh, by the way, where is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're on the floor. I should. You know. They make great coasters, by the way. <laughs> um, but um, well, the reason it's Alaska, it's just Alaska is like a state of mind. I've never been to Alaska, but just kind of being somewhere that you can't get out of. And, yeah. And. Um, I think I, that that runs through the whole record, I think, and uh, I, I like that. Funny. And you know what? It reminds me of uh, uh, Big Pink. You know, yeah. the the band's yeah, uh, Big yeah. Pink just out there uh, somewhere doing your uh, your art. You know, and you're alone and you're creating this thing. And it's like this is a part of your mind. There's a picture of a cabin in the woods. If you can't see it because we don't have any close-ups, uh, that's what's on the front of this CD. And that's what it kind of reminds you of. And every time that I've seen you, your music has been. Uh, stimulating it's been different and it's real I don't know how else to explain it but like when I hear the band I think of the same thing so maybe that's why I'm making that association but like I that. we couldn't I, afford I, color that's you know for the uh, <laughs> record but we're uh, gonna call it big black and white but. Big, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this picture on the back is probably that probably sums up the album there I don't know is that you is that you? that's like me and the, the feeling of the album little, little uh -huh. brat you know uh -huh. probably like just you know everybody will listen yeah. to how i want this song to be played <laughs> don't stare at my shirt yeah. <laughs> get your hands off of my beer uh, anyway, no it's 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 really a, a wonderful album i've listened to it uh, several thousand times already in fact i've listened to it so many times it's it? turned black <laughs> i don't know how that happened <laughs> i put it on my victrola vic said it was okay uh no, thanks very much for being here. Uh, it, this is great. Do you guys want to talk about anything spe uh, specific? Where are you going to be appearing? Um, what are you going to be doing? Yeah, well, I'm going to be actually Lou Bevere, who called in, which I'm glad. Oh. Hey, Lou. Lou, who called in and asked I about Abe Vigoda. <laughs> I'm going to oh, be that guy. <laughs> with Enzo and the Bakers at the oh. Great Notch Inn. That's a great He's place. my longtime friend, and he's been playing music with me. He's on the record also, and uh, but he's going to be with me that night with Enzo and the Bakers. But then uh, on the third, we're going to be in Hoboken at the Newman Leather Building. Oh, Bill Hamilton's uh, law. I've heard about That's, that. I'm yeah, I'm very excited about that spot. So, and Robin's Nest down in Linden, uh, the 23rd of December. So you're moving around. You're doing it. You're yeah. out there playing. You're beating the uh, the beating the bushes, man. You're out there playing and and uh, and it's make a grind. It's a tough road out there. It is a tough yeah. road, but it's a fun road because it's <laughs> real and it's it's immediate. And you're and you're and you're doing your art. You know, you're playing your music and you're having a good time with stuff that you create in the real world and it's great you're not sitting behind a desk going you know which is you know well, which maybe you're doing that too it pays the bills it pays the bills. <laughs> <laughs> anyway but uh, it's great and, and uh, I'm uh, I'm very thankful that, that you came down Anthony thank you for uh, the, the guys are going to play uh, another two thank songs you, and we're going to take a short break and when we come back uh, we'll do a couple more songs uh, with Anthony Tambor and his, uh, his boys thank you guys thanks Good so morning. very much yeah. Oh, we have a PSA, public service the announcement. The dances with okay. the waters, which brings the rain that feeds the land, that is home to the animals. All life dances together. In a world so connected, choosing one environmental cause can be hard. Earthshare is 40 environmental charities working together. You and your company can help by calling 1-800-MY-SHARE. All life lives or doesn't. Together.
Hello, this is Dr. Barry Prostowski. I invite you to watch Courageous Doctors, an exciting new show on broadband box office about how healthcare is affecting you today. You know, I'm not really a podcaster, but I play one on my podcast. <laughs> and I almost didn't become a podcaster. Really, really. After high school, I, I wanted to join the FBI. ABC was running the show The FBI with Ephraim Zimbalist Jr., and I was all jazzed up on that, man. Yeah. I could have joined the CIA protecting LBJ, but Mom said, well, why don't you get your Ph.D. from USC or NYU and learn the ABCs of business, PDQ? <laughs> ah, yeah, well, anyway. Well, I suppose sooner would have been better because I did want a BMW with JBL woofers, four on the floor, ABS, ATV tires, and a roof rack, revving up the RPMs, blasting off ZZ Top CR, CCR. <laughs> CSN and ABBA, and I don't know. Initially, I couldn't believe it either, and I still I can't see with this thing on, man. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> but it's show business. You gotta live for your art, die for it. As anyway, <clears throat> I, I I would have gone to work for ABC or NBC or CBS, maybe TWA or the PGA. Heck, I already had my golf shoes. I had a hole in one. <laughs> I had a Hole in one, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. You're welcome. Uh, I didn't, I, you know, but I didn't want to get a job in a cafeteria selling BLTs or PBJs to CPAs or CEOs with an attitude. You want fries with that, my friend? My IQ is better than that. But you know, you do have to do what you do, and if doing fast food was it, well, that's what you do. So I don't want any IOUs. You know, fast food, fine, okay, LOL. I mean, my SATs stand for something, don't they? All I really wanted was a job playing music, though, with Anthony Tambora and the boys. But ASAP, I dreamed all about performing AM, PM, even in my REM. <laughs> I play all over the USA, LA, and NYC, C to shining C, rock around the clop, 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 drop, bop until you drop. You know, I read it this afternoon, and it was easier. Uh, you know, so, I uh, listen, I, I did folk houses and coffee bars and taverns and parties and weddings and nightclubs, had a band, quit a band, went solo, had a duo, had two duos and a trio, went back to solo, wore funny hats, told funny jokes, mime Mickey Mouse, brought down the house, did a 10-minute Wizard of Oz and Led Zeppelin parodies, made lots of friends, made money for charities. MC the first rock and blues shows that circled Manhattan, put on a robe, funny glasses and a hat and ran around the building and came back in with an axe in my mouth in the classified section. I met Graham Nash, Phoebe Snow, and that prick John Sebastian. Also opened up for Billy Idol, Poco, and Bonnie Raitt. I did a cable show here from 92 to 98. 13 TV commercials. And now, here's a podcast made for you with love from me. So thanks. Peace. And now, this podcaster would like to welcome back to the stage Anthony Tambora and the Anthony Tambora Band. Your baby doesn't love you Can I take it down to the spot we used to go Where we take out all our clothes and we Lock the door then we Close our eyes and we Make love until we were high 5 a.m. and The sun has come up here I reach out for you your impressions all I get So now you're back with that old friend you knew I can't fake it no more, sugar You told me you were through But you locked the door Then you 
close your eyes and you drank him down until you were high. 6 a.m. and damn sunny, come up, yeah. I reach out for you, your impression already. You call me up to say That you love me And you just want me to stay So I come running To release your pain through the window It still feels the same out the front door Let me go again, let it go again Let me go again, yeah 6pm God damn, I miss the sun again I reach out for you I can't remember where you've been I can't remember the way you hobby through your fingernails Scratching down my back all over me Yes, over me Yes, over Yes, over Yes, over Called good night. Turn around. We just passed my old house. I thought it burned to the ground. I'm looking in. Just gotta see. The lost picture of Mama and me. All faded, it just turned brown. I don't even think that's me. So good night to the heart system, and good night to the memory you've been keeping. Good night to all the fools you've been reaping. I hope you wake up feeling good Dusty old room Corner room of gloom The books they ain't got no shelf They just hanging up all by themselves Burn that bed Some things better left unsaid That old record keeps playing in my head Your brother's dead Well, I feel dead too Come on, girl, get me out of this room So good night To the heart system and good night to the memory you've been keeping good night to all the fools you were reaping i hope you wake up feeling good going down to the kitchen 
mixing Campbell's soup and bread. Staring at her, trying to find out what's happening in her head. Look next door. The gossip column is whore. Her dad left, went away, grabbed some liquor from the store. Said your mama's gone. I'm my brother gone too. Why the hell I have to hear from you? So good night, good night to the heart sister, and good night, good night to the memory you've been keeping. Good night. To all the fools you were reaping, I hope you wake up feeling good. Oh, baby, good night. Good night to the heart, sister. And good night, good night to the memory you've been keeping. Good night, good night to all the fools you were reaping. I hope you wake up feeling good. Oh, baby, good night. Good night to the heart, sister. And good night. To the memory you've been keeping good night, good night to all the fools you were reaping. I hope you wake up feeling good. I hope you wake up feeling good. I just wanna wake up feeling good. Comes. 
kisses you when you're sleeping. No, when you're all awake. No, if you've been bad or good, so you better be good for goodness sake. Here it comes right now. No, 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 no. Well, 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 <laughs> maybe it won't be a sack of coal for you, baby. Yeah. Quiet down now and get some sleep. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mama. Good night, Ben. Good night, everyone. Good night, Mama. Good night, Daddy. Good night, children. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Jim Bob. What's going on? I was asleep. What's everybody doing? Good night, Good night Jim, Jim Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Anthony Tamboro. Good night, V.D. King. Good night, Paul Corona. Good night, Don Kenny. Good night, Melania. Good night, Mark. Good night, Donald Trump. Goodbye, Social Security. Goodbye, Affordable Care Act. Hello, Mike Pence. Bye-bye, Evolution. Goodbye, Refugees. And good luck. Au revoir, Roe vs. Wade. Hello, prison ladies. Good morning, waterboarding. Somebody wake me. <laughs> <laughs>